Current statistics show that one in eight U.S. women will be diagnosed with breast cancer over the course of her lifetime. Many breast cancers are detected by way of conventional compressional 2D mammography annually. While this is good news for many, death rates still remain too high. Well, we've known for years that finding breast cancer early is one of the ways we can really help women live with breast cancer instead of dying from breast cancer. If we can find breast cancer when it's really small, before it's spread from the breast, we can save a woman's life. Well, just as it's better to find cancers as small as possible, it makes a lot of sense um, that uh, once the cancer is all over the body, then the entire body has to be treated. Whereas when the cancer is confined to the breast, many times we can get away with treatment just confined to the breast. Less surgery, less radiation, and potentially less or no chemotherapy. For over 30 years, standard mammography technologies have utilized breast compression and 2D projection imaging to evaluate breast tissue. Cancers can hide. The breast tissue is the same density as a cancer most often, and it really takes a lot of skill to find a dense cancer in a dense breast, and many women have dense breasts. It's very well known that 2D mammography has the limitation of overlap tissue. So if a woman has dense breast tissue, that's a problem because cancers look white, tissue looks white, as well as ligaments. So if we have a woman who has what's called dense breast tissue, with the 2D mammography, everything looks flat. So it becomes very difficult to diagnose those cancers. As many as 40%, maybe more, of women in this country have dense breasts. And recently, many states, more than half the states in the country, are notifying women after their mammogram whether they're dense or not. By compressing the breast in 2D mammography, we're blending all the normal and abnormal tissue together. The statistics quoted for sensitivity, which is how good is mammography, are listed as between 65 and 85%, which means then that 35% of cancers might be missed in the breast. This gets worse when the breast tissue is dense because we just can't see the white cancer against the white glandular tissue. One of the latest innovations in early stage breast cancer detection is the FDA-approved Koning KBCT. Koning Corporation was funded off decades of research at the University of Rochester. We produced a new FDA-approved 3D breast CT scanner. Our technology is protected by over 80 patents globally and funded by both venture investments and government research grants. I've been working with Conebeam CT since 2002 with Koning, and we've been working with diagnostic patients in the research phase. But what I've seen in multiple studies that we've done at Elizabeth Wendy Breast Care is that the focal spot size, the improved detector, as well as the exquisite spatial resolution allows me, when I'm looking at these images, to see cancers that are four millimeters or less in size. The Koning Corporation produces a technologically advanced breast imaging system, and for the first time in the breast imaging history, physicians can enjoy using tools that have been available for CT scanning of the head and body, yet does so at radiation doses that are in the same range as a diagnostic mammogram. Physicians have the ability to view tissue from multiple angles, which can enhance the examination. The KBCT generates the first true and accurate 3D image of the breast, while eliminating the painful procedure of compression that is necessary for conventional 2D mammography and tomosynthesis. Women hate to have their breasts compressed for mammography. It's been like that since mammography was first started in the 60s. We've had to compress the breast so we can find the cancers more easily. One of the nice things about the coning system is that it doesn't require breast compression. It is a little uncomfortable to have a mammogram done. Any woman that's ever had a mammogram will tell you um, it's not the most comfortable experience. It doesn't last very long, but um, just the fact that you're being compressed is a bothersome thing. The cone beam was much more comfortable. It, there was no compression involved as there is with the, just a standard mammogram. It was over in a matter of minutes. It was very quick, and it was just basically a painless procedure. Quick, painless, that's what we all would like. Koning Breast CT is a true three-dimensional image of the breast. The detector is surrounding 
the woman's breast. And so the cancers have nowhere to hide in the breast. There's no way for overlapping tissue to be in the way from every angle. One of the benefits from this also is that maybe we'll be more likely to pick out which are the true abnormalities from the false abnormalities and then do less biopsies, which turn out to be benign. So we'd also like to find the small cancers, but also do less biopsies, which turn out to be negative. One of the challenges with breast cancer detection globally is that women in developing nations don't necessarily have the screening protocols in place and, and the understanding that once you turn a certain age or if you have certain risk factors to go and get screened for breast cancer. As a result, in many developing nations like China and India, the breast cancer incidence rate is actually twice that of the global average. The other challenge is that many of the women in those countries are still in rural parts of the countryside and bringing this type of technology in a mobile unit as a fully functional lab to do screening for those patients will actually help lower the incidence rate and find earlier cancers for easier treatment. Corneal Corporation technology will really benefit all the women in the world. will save life, save health care cost, also significantly improve the quality of patient's life. For more information, visit www.coningcorporation.com.